uh, utilizing your are you going to interpret it no? so yung, yung mismo uh, computations must be there so yun so wala namang maling sagot how go, how uh, well sige sige nyo uh, sige wala namang maling sagot how are you going to interpret that and how are you going to present your uh, particular ano so so yun lang no? so but before that so who, who will who will uh, present or share the screen because uh, for this particular Zoom account so I'm going to transfer the hosting to Teka lang na, na disconnect siya. And then once na transfer sa inyo yung hosting, so meron ka yung responsibility to accept no those who will uh, join the the Zoom meeting later. No? So kanina ko ibibigay yung hosting. Kay Denzel Blanco po. Kay Denzel Blanco. Opo sir. Denzel. Ano si Denzel? Pakita mo na ang saglit sa inyo. May itsura ko ngayon. Nakasombrero po ako kasi medyo <laughs> sabog-sabog yung buhok ko. <laughs> Sayo siya na. Pero ako po ito. Thank you. Then, sir. Then, sir. Blank. Hindi ko makita si Den, sir. Ayun, si Denzel lang. So, I'm gonna transfer the hosting to you. So, yun na. So, in that case, you will be allowed to share the slide. Okay? Right. So, are we all uh, ready? All set? And then, please uh, pay attention to, to what uh, your classmates are saying because uh, afterwards, so you'll be having a short piece, no? for this particular topic. So, uh, even the the presenters you know, will be uh, uh, taking that particular quiz. All right? All right. <laughs> okay, so take it away, uh, Monica, Ella, Iguan, and Denzel. And then uh, you can ask uh, really your the presenter no whenever may mga clarifications kayo na uh, gustong itanong mo so syempre magagalit yung presenter kasi oh, ba't yung nagtanong mo baka to si ano nagtanong mo eh lagot ka sa akin sa susunod na presentation <laughs> gandihan no pero hindi naman so, for the uh, benefit of uh, uh, of discussions lang naman so mas maganda may mga exchange of uh, information so especially those uh, may mga trabaho na pinasukan na di ba so yun so Denzel, you can uh, share your screen now. Uh, record ko lang ha. Ah, paano yun? Saka siya mara-record pala. Sorry. Sige lang po. Uh, slide siya na lang. Kita na po. Yes, pero hindi siya naka-slide siya. Ayo. Po. Hindi siya naka-slide siya. Denzel. Or na may delay lang. Ayan na, okay na siya. May delay lang. May delay lang. May delay lang. Game. So good afternoon, everyone. We're the first, we're the first group to present and discuss to you the first chapter, which is all about understanding the supply chain management. First is what is a supply 
supply chain supply chain management supply chain management is the network of individuals company resources wait no resources activities and technologies used to make and sell a product or service um, a supply chain chain management starts with the delivery of raw materials from a supplier to a manufacturer and ends with the delivery of finished product or the service or to the customers then the major goal of supply chain management is to keep track of and connect the production distribution and transportation of goods in addition it aims at leading enterprises using the supply chain to improve differentiation, increase sales, and penetrate new markets. So next is the flow of supply chain, chain management. The figure shows the movement of a product from the supplier of raw materials to the producer who will forward it to the distributor for shipment and the distribution distributor will ship it to the wholesaler or retailer that will distribute the product to various, various shops from where the customer will can easily get the products. And for the five basics, step of supply chain chain management is first is the plan the companies need to develop a plan or strategy in order to address how the products and services will satisfy the demands and necessities of the customers um, in planning there's options included whether they manufacture a product component dom domestically or whether they manufacture a component in a foreign market by setting up international production facilities or pwede din naman pong mag bumili, bumili sila ng component from foreign supplier or bumili ng component from domestic supplier. So ito yung mga options na pwede nilang pag-isipan ng mabuti sa planning. Then the operation planning is essential because this decision influences the supply chain. And for the next stage is the source. In this stage, it concentrates on building a strong relationship with suppliers of the raw materials required for the production. So, in this stage, companies need to select suppliers to deliver the items and services they require to develop their products. So the supply chain managers need to construct a set of pricing, delivery, and payment process with suppliers and also create the metric, metrics for controlling the improving the relationships between the suppliers and the producers. Then the next stage is the make. In this stage, the products are designed, produced, tested, packaged, and synchronized for delivery. So here, the task of the supply chain manager is to schedule all the activities required for manufacturing, for manufacturing, testing, packaging, and preparation for delivery. So this stage is also considered as the most metric intensive unit of the supply chain where firms firms or company can gauge the quality levels, production, output, and the workers' productivity. And for the fourth stage is the delivery. This stage is the logistic phase where customer orders are accepted and delivered delivery of the good is planned. So here the products are delivered to the customer at the destined location by the supplier. This delivery stage is 
often referred as logistic, where firms collab firms collaborate for the receipt of orders from customers, establish a network of warehouse, be carriers deliver products to customers, and set up an invoicing system to receive payments. So for the last stage is the return. In this stage, defective or damaged goods are returned to the supplier by the customer. Um, here, the companies need to deal with customer inquiries and respond to their complaints. Why did they return the products? Then this stage also often tends to be a problematic sec section of the supply chain for many companies. The planners of supply chain need to discover a responsive and flexible network for accepting damage, defectives, and extra product extra products box from their customer and facilitating the return process for customers who have issues with delivered delivered products. And next is the supply chains, supply chain management benefits. These are some of the benefits of supply chain management. First, it improves customer service and customer relationships. And also it enhances the productivity and company operations. It, uh, the supply chain management also reduces direct and indirect costs by reducing warehousing and transportation costs. The next is improves inventory management and last is the is assist business in meeting the problems of globalization economic instability rising customer demands and other disparities so ito lang ito lang po yung nilagay namin na benefits pero madami pang benefits na makukuha kapag sa supply chain management like it can higher the efficiency rate and improve the quality control of the company. Thank you, Monica. How about any questions from your classmates regarding this uh, benefits before I proceed with the next uh, topic or subtopic of this chapter? Anyone would like to ask? Or is it uh, the, your last uh, slide for assigned to you, Monica? Yes, yes, go, sir. Or anyone from the group would like to ask something to to the friends of uh, Monica? In, uh, anyone would like to ask? Wala ba magtatanong? How about uh, Eva? You'd like to ask something from the Eva? Hello, pa, sir. Yes. Anything you'd like to ask? Uh, ano po, ang naiisip ko po siguro, kung sa production, po, ay kung yung sa industry po, yung production is the heart of the company, ano naman po yung parang dito sa the logistic or the supply chain. Or anyone from the from your from the reporter or presenters would like to address the question of Emma. An ano yung Emma? <laughs> ano Mars? Yung di ba yung production is the ano uh, heart of the company eh, of the industry or the uh, ang tawag dito manufacturing, manufacturing. industry industry. Ano naman yung ano supply chain? Mayroon ba siyang specific din na ano parang tawag sa kanya ganun? Uh, what ano? <laughs> Wal walang spe specific na tawag sa kanya pero based dun sa ni-report ko na ano na mga basic steps, parang yung pinaka-heart or pinaka-pinag 
pabasihan ng lahat is the planning kasi simula sa planning, kailangan okay na yung lahat para to avoid the circumstances na mangyayari pa sa mga susunod na stages. Ah, okay. Doon nakafocus. Go, go. Okay. So, thank you, Emma. And thank you, uh, Monica. No? But then, um, kasi halos if you're going to look at the five steps no, for, or the basic steps ng supply chain management, halos lahat kasi sila is equally important. Ano? So, if you will be given a chance no, to work as a supply chain uh, manager no, on what particular step, no? Uh, are you going to prioritize no which among the five basic steps no are you willing to work with and why <laughs> well, anyone from the class would like to answer or the address that question what particular uh, because uh if you, if you're listening a while ago no so there are five basic steps on uh, supply chain management the planning the plan source and then you have the make are you the production and deliver and then the last one is the return on which on which particular uh, stage no you're going to uh, focus no as an industrial engineer as a supply chain engineer so what particular uh, step no wala namang maling sagot no it's just your opinion we'd like to uh, ask your opinion no uh, about this uh, supply chain stages or steps anyone from the group Um, siguro po kung ako po is sa ano na lang, source, yung magka-contact ng mga suppliers or magkipag-interact para magkaroon ng, ng mga supplies na kakailanganin for the production. Okay. And what basically is your requirement no? for that uh, late? for that uh, stage? No? So what are you going to prioritize? What particular factors? Monica. Before we proceed with Mark uh, Makaraing later. Factors po na kalain consider as source uh, as ano po? On the source. Uh, what are your considerations if you were going to uh, work on that particular stage of uh, the supply chain management? Siguro po ano yung med ano daudit Yo ano po sir, it lang hindi ko God. Ano ano consideration natin? Um first po is yung quality ng mga raw materials na i-produce or i i i ano sa yung ano po i-acquire po namin na pra, na raw materials is make sure na maganda yung quality and okay, quality next price po ng raw materials sa kukunin okay and next what else uh, <laughs> sorry ah bigla bigla akong tatanong <laughs> Anything, uh, Monica. So, sabi ni Monica, ang considerations daw niya is the quality of the raw materials na papasok sa company. Second is the pricing. So, is it uh, uh, within the limits of the company to accept the quotations from that uh, supplier? And then what else? What are your considerations? So, bali, ang magiging work mo is a logistic uh, uh logistics manager or logistics engineer no yeah so what your what are your considerations pa? aside um, from those siguro po ko consider din po yung background nung magiging cost nung magiging ano na supplier para titingnan yung background po kung na mimit ba so, talaga file. nila yung mga mm-hmm. hinihingi supply sa kanila Mm-hmm. Profiling of your suppliers. What else? Opo. <laughs> Yan lang. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> natatawa sa inyo. <laughs> but, uh, but if you're going to work on this stage, no, so sabi nga is building a strong relationship with suppliers of the raw materials required for the production. So siguro, uh, hindi naman kasi not necessarily mababa yung presyo. Yun na yung ganyan yung kukuhanin natin. So tama naman that you, 
you're going to consider the quality of the offerings of that particular supplier. Ano? And then, um, syempre, you have to also consider the proximity of those suppliers no, from your plant. So, pero kung wala naman talagang available nearby no, or parang semiconductor to supply your needs. No? So, isang consideration because uh, that uh, kung medyo malayo yung supplier mo, that will incur uh, additional costing uh, for them. Kasi yung price cost pa lang nun, di ba? Papunta sa'yo is uh, additional expense na yun. So, syempre, hindi naman yun ikakarga. Pag pa-deliver ka nga sa Shopee, di ba? Depende pa rin kung gaano kalayo yung ano, from supplier to the, to the uh, customer. And then what else are you going to consider siguro pa? May dadagdag pa ba tayo from your group mates? No? So, say, dadagdag na natin consideration of proximity. What else? Pwede rin natin makonsider yung pricing ay eh, yung mismong uh, uh, ang tawag dito, yung paying scheme. No? So, mas maganda diba in terms, hindi yung kailangan bilaan. Let's say, your company is uh, is not doing well on that particular kasi nga, pandemia. So, mas maganda may mga terms tayo na i-consider na hindi agad babayaran ng buong kasi mas maganda while uh, andun pa, while we are utilizing those suppliers. No? Uh, those, those supplies, no? sana magamit muna siya and makonvert into sales no? para mabayaran natin sila. May mga ganun naman conditions. What else? Oh, we're going to remember your uh, previous uh, subjects no, na may kinalaman dito. So, ano yung mga so production system? What could be your considerations? No? So, in relation to logistics, wala na ba? Wala tayo nakalimutan? So aside niyan niya, nag-profiling na tayo kanina ng, ng, ng ano. So isa rin pwede natin i-consider doon is the communication line between them, between their, between your company and that particular supplier. Kasi kung oh, medyo mahirap pa usap yan, eh, di ba? So paano kung nagkaroon ng problema yung inyong company? And then uh, kailangan-kailangan muna, di ba? So or uh, uh, parang yung lead time mo since na-apekto kasi nagkaroon ng ng, ng ganitong problema, hindi agad dumating sa'yo. So, ano yung magiging possible uh, solutions nila to address your concerns? So, maganda rin makonsider natin is the communication so uh, between the company and that uh, and that supplier. Okay, so, base kay Monica, so she will focus on the source, no? so source stage no, of the supply chain management. So, let's ask now Mark Snow. Mark? You can uh, unmute yourself now. Hello po, sir. Hello, Mark. Ayun po, para po, para po sa akin lang, sir, ano po, uh, mas magkukukus po ko sa, sa process stage po. Sa process stage? Yung make po. Yung make. Sa make, okay. okay. Kasi, sir, parang, uh, para kasing sa process, sa processing stage po ng isang uh, chain ng, hmm ng ano ng isang manufacturing company po eh mm-hmm. parang the more na uh, parang atag kapag yung sa processing stage po is maayos po yung pagkakagawa ng isang isang product or ng sa pras, ng process doon mm-hmm. parang tuloy-tuloy na po yun hanggang sa dulo parang wala po siyang aberya na mangyayari mm-hmm. pero pag nagkaroon po ng mga defects, maaaring maapektuhan po yung schedule ng pag-deliver kasi possible mm-hmm. po na uulitin pa po yung yung mm-hmm. process parang salip na mabigay na, salip na na ma-deliver na sa uh, scheduled na time eh parang madi- magkakaroon pa po ng delay ng, mm-hmm. ng bottleneck sa isang production po. Mm-hmm. po. Okay, so thank you uh, Mark. Pwede mo nang ibaba yung kamay para <laughs> Ayan, check mo na lang yung icon para hindi. Ayan, so thank you, Mark. So sabi ni Mark, uh, relay lang natin ulit yung kanya sinabi. Na. So we'll focus on the production side. No? So actually, lahat naman ng, ng stages na yan ng uh, supply chain management is really important. No? Kasi uh, complementary yan sa bawat isa. So paano kung hindi maas yung planning? So what will happen to the next stage, di ba? So uh, ganun din naman yan. No? So pag hindi maayos yung supply na, supplier na nakuha natin, hindi pa rin. Ano. But then, sabi nga kanina ni Eva, no, the heart of the of a particular manufacturing industry is in the production kasi uh, that uh, produces items, products 
na magke-create ng sales no in return para mabayaran natin yung iba nating mga expenses no so uh, maganda yung sinabi ni Mark na makaraig na we, we can focus on the production na uh, instead uh, kung ma- ma-settle natin siya mapo-provide natin siya at we can run it as smoothly and efficiently so wala tayong magiging problema sa mga susunod na ano. and then kasi babalik tayo eh kasi if there's a problem with the uh, production so possibly kasi may uh, ang problema natin is on the planning. So, babalikan natin si planning. So, there's a feedback going back to the planning para ayusin yung kanilang plan. At uh, maging maayos naman yung takbo natin sa production. And then, kung halimbawa, ang concern naman ni production is on the supplies. No? So, what will happen? Siyempre, babalik pa rin naman siya kay supplier, kay logistics uh, uh, engineer para mas maging uh, maganda naman yung takbo ng ating ano, production. No? So, ganun din. No? So, the main effect naman to sa deliver and return. Kasi kung may wala namang issue doon sa dalawang stages na yon so we can commit and we can deliver it uh, on time no, to our supplier no? pero if you can still remember your uh, lean manufacturing so di ba tapos na kayo sa lean am i right that's <laughs> close sir okay so tapos na kayo sa lean di ba so sabi nga di ba if you can still remember na um uh ay isang problema kasi ng isang ng dalawang company between supplier and the company is uh, uh, paano natin siya ma- ma-minimize yung mga uh, non-value adding kasi uh, communication kasi dito na nabanggit natin kanina kung hindi naiintindihan ni supplier yung sitwasyon ni company at hindi rin na naiintindihan ni company yung sitwasyon ni supplier so might as well magkaroon ng problema yun kasi uh, magkakaroon ng conflicts no kasi uh, pag hindi alam ni supplier na ito yung lead time ni production ni company para makapag-produce ng ganitong item. So, uh, syempre, apektado na yun. No? So, mas maganda is pinapaalam natin kay kay supplier para nga daw maging lead siya. Ay pinapaalam natin kay supplier kung ano sitwasyon natin. What are lead time? No? Ano yung kailangan natin na specifications no? pag ganito or else pag bumaba sa ganito sa limits natin. So, what could possibly the effect on it on the on our product. So, ganun din naman, si supplier dapat naiintindihan niya rin si, ay, si company dapat naiintindihan niya rin si supplier kasi hindi pwedeng demand ka lang ng demand. Dapat bigay mo yung, kasi customer kami. So, kami yung, sabi nga nila, the customer is always right. But then you have to understand the situation of your supplier. So, minsan kasi is uh, parang, uh, parang sa relasyon din, diba? oh, may counseling. <laughs> Pag hindi mo naiintindihan yung dalawa, so, there is a conflict that will arise talaga so between the two uh, organizations sa supplier tsaka si company so dapat inuunawa din so kung samba nang galing bakit hindi nakapag-deliver ng ganito output anong ganitong uh, raw material sa supplier no? so ano yung mga pinagdaanan ano yung mga hindrances no so, okay. or halimbawa is baka akala lang nila is eh, meron siyang isang uh, central warehouse in Manila no but then uh, aside from that hindi alam ni company na nanggagaling pa talaga sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo yung mga uh, supplies na dinideliver sa atin supplier. So, ayun. No? And then one good input din para natin ma- ma-improve no, yung ating production, di ba? Ganun, papasok pa rin tayo sa lead. No? Kasi uh, if you're going to cross-cut the expenses, no, so dito sa mismong uh, supply chain management uh, steps, no, basic steps, no? so ang kabang magkakaroon ng isang pinaka, parang let's say, uh, more viable activities in order for you to cut the expenses of the company or the organization. Di ba doon sa mismo production or sa make base? No? Kasi uh, you can see things dito from this. Uh, let's say in your company, you're operating on the production or no? you have several processes involved para makaluha ka ng ganitong product. Palagay na natin, uh, paggawa ng sasakyan no? sa Toyota production. So, Toyota production dito sa may Santa Rosa. Di ba? Ano-ano yung mga steps na yun? So, Siyempre, Ah, uh, meron kang gawaan ng ganitong parts. Meron kang ganitong gawaan ng parts, may assembly ka noon, may cleaning ka noon, may testing ka pa noon. So, and so on before you can uh, arrive with the part with one bio sa kaya one no ba, no. So, uh, saan ka pwedeng mag ano, mag cross cut noon. So, if you're going to uh, to streamline your processes, no. So, makikita at makita natin 'yan. The study each process, so may mga lapses pala or kaya is masyadong malaki yung kinakain nito or overstocking ka dito sa ganitong process na to. So, in that case, no, pwede natin siyang ano, ma-trim down ng expenses. So, halimbawa, ang requirement na pala dito, nag-contact time study daw si, ano, si Mark Makaranas. Ah, Makaraig. Sino ba? Makaranas nga. 
kasi Mark's no kanina. So sa, nag time study si Mark no sabi niya. Hindi ito na yung kailangan niya ano eh na tao no. So base dito sa scheduling natin so on the stop uh, stopping pattern natin dito pagdating sa ganitong process ay uh, makita lang natin na na hindi pala kailangan lima yun nandito. So kaya pa siyang tabro trabahuhin ng tatlong tao lang no. Ang pinapasweldo mo sa tatlong tao is per, per a day you are uh, giving eh, that uh, employee 400 pesos no. So in a month magkano na save mo no. Hindi naman sa wala kang pusa, wala kang awa. But then, objectively, you are just uh, performing you did it, your duty to, to cut all the expenses no in that particular process. No? So, uh, imagine, no, dalawa yung tinanggal mo sa process pa lang na yun. Ha? Dalawa yung tinanggal mo. And then, what else? So, pagdating ng isang buwan, so ilan gano ba kalaki yun? Pinapaswell mo na si 4,000 times uh, ilan lahat yun. Sige nga, kung <laughs> magkano ba yun? 4,000 times uh, uh, pagpalagyan na natin na uh, 24-7 yung operations mo. So, uh, 7 times a week pumapasok din yun. So, 30 days. No? So, 400 times 30. O 12,000 pesos din yun. E, dalawa yun. 24,000 naman. So, 24,000 times uh, times uh, 12. No? So, meron kang ilan yun? So, 24,000. So, so, times 10 to 140,000. Meron kang 200. 48,000 na na-save no? for, that, uh, for that process. Di ba? So, gano'ng kalaki impact nun sa organization? Di ba? Meron kang ganitong na-save na. No? Sa isang process pa lang yun, kung overstopping ka. No? What more pa doon sa ibang processes na hindi naman talaga rin na kailangan. So, yun. It's a good opportunity no? for for uh, for um, uh, for uh, for uh, for <laughs> For industrial engineer no, to come up with this uh, particular. So, yung iba kasi, ano, minsan nag-over uh, think tayo na ideally sick tayo na kailangan ganito yung mangyari kasi ang um, date lang naman. Ano. So, imagine, um, sa process na yun, nakasave ka ng ilang seconds. So, kung pe-pressure mo yung seconds na yun, for a week, ilan yun? After, uh, for a month, ilan yun? And then for a year, gano kalaki yung na-save mo ngayon. So, not necessarily na kailangan malaki agad yung impact na na-save mo. But then, uh, uh, tulad nga yung ating ano, Kaizen, na continuous improvement, not necessarily na meron kang nabibigay na agad na malaking uh, impact. No? So, pwede nga uh, gradually, ito yung na-save natin. No? And then, eventually, magiging maganda yung uh, takbo ng ating uh, organization. So, ang dami ko sinabi. No? <laughs> Anything you'd like to add? No? Before we, we we move to the next slide, uh, any thoughts or opinion? Magtatawag ba ako? O sige, last na akong magtawag. Tapos ay, uh, any opinion last? <laughs> Again, uh, the question is, uh, on which particular stage the supply chain management are going to uh, focus more or are going to uh, prioritize no? if you'll give, be given a chance no? to work on these stages. Mm, tanongin natin si Darrell, David, di ba? Darrell, ano niya ka pa ba? No, sir. Tunig ko yeah. ba? Ah, sige, Darrell, speak up. Mm, yung sa akin po, sir, mabay piliin po ako. Siguro dun po ako sa plan. Kasi ang nasa isa po po sa sir, kung ano po, yung sa ano po, process plus system, kung planado po lahat yon pati okay. yung kung sakaling may errors man o yung mga factors, planado rin po, mas madali po kasing kumilos or mag-execute po ng action or ano po. Yung, ayun nga po, mag-execute po ng action, depende po dun sa kung may mali man po. Basta kung planado lang po lahat, parang andali lang po kasi i-handle yung mga problema kung sakali lang po. Hmm. Sige. Uh, thank you, Darren. So, good luck no, sa planning. <laughs> kasi uh, medyo, uh, alam naman talaga yung mag-aaway yan. Yun, si planning tax production. But then, uh, kung maayos naman yung plano mo talaga, so, we could lessen the, uh, the scenario talaga nagbabangay yun yung dalawang manager. So, normally nag-happen, nag 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 nang iya, nang haya na nang nangyayari. <laughs> nangyayari lang naman niya sa mga medyo ah, hindi pa masyado established na company. But then kung medyo conglomerate na yung laki ng ano, 
ng company. So, uh, wala na masyado ng yung problema yun. So, siguro minor na lang. So, sige. Thank you, ano, Darrell. So, we can now proceed with the next uh, slide. So, will that will be uh, presented by... We'll present slide. Ella. You can now proceed, Ella. Good Sorry afternoon. Sorry, na-prolong, ha? <laughs> okay, ampo. For the next topic po is the Porter's value chain. So for the Porter's value chain, we're going to discuss its definition, elements, and advantages and disadvantages. Now, what is the Porter's value chain? The value chain was introduced by Michael Porter, a business professor in 1985 in the book of Competitive Advantage. Value chain is a strategic tool. It's a strategic tool to map out and analyze the flow of value-added activities from the raw materials from the raw material supplier to the end customer. Yung value-added activities po, ito yung mga activities that the customers are willing to pay for. So in yes. short, yung Value chain is the flow from the supplier up to the customer or ito yung process na nagta-transport or nagko-convert ng inputs into outputs step by step. Yung the purpose of value chain is to examine all their activities and see how they are inter interconnected. Hmm. Next, businesses makes a margin which is yung tinatawag po nilang profit by increasing the gap between the cost of creating the value and the value itself. And it represents like this equation po, yung value created and captured minus cost of creating that value is equals to profit margin nga po. Okay. Next, value chain has a nine activities that is divided into two types po. And these are the primary activities and secondary activities. The primary activities uh, are yung mga Directly related to the physical creation, sale, maintenance, and support of a product or a, ser or a service. While yung secondary activity naman po, o yung tinatawag po na support activities, plays a role in each primary activity to make them efficiency and effective. So let's start. First po with the primary activities. Number one po dito is yung inbound logistics. Yung inbound logistics encompasses the receiving, warehousing, and inventory control of a company's raw, mater raw materials. It also covers all suppliers' relationship. For example, po nito is yung receiving and storing ng product ng isang company galing po sa isang manufacturer. Next po na ano, primary activity is yung pag Operation po. Operation is incorporate procedures for converting raw materials into a finished product or service. For example po is yung company po, di ba nakakuha na sila ng inputs from the supplier. Yung next step po nila doon is to convert that input into a finished product like yung mga adding labels, yung paglalagay po ng brand name and packaging that add value to the product po. Next is, next step na po nun is the outbound Outbound logistics. Outbound logistics encompasses all activities involved in the distribution of a final product to a consumer. This includes po product delivery but also storage and distribution system, which may be external or internal. Dito na po yung pag-storage sa mga pending shipment or yung mga mismong pag-ship out po ng products to the customers. Pag tapos po nung pag-deliver, the next step, Next step is yung marketing and sales. Marketing and sales include strategies to increase visibility and attract the right customers, such as advertising, promotion, and pricing. Essentially, these activities contribute to, to, the, to a consumer's decision to purchase a product or service from a business. Ito naman po yung mga dito po na nangyayari po yung mga marketing strategies po ng mga businesses and company po para po makakuha sila ng sales, napopromote po sila through advertising like posting in any social medias. Then last primary activity is the service po. 
This includes product maintenance and, and enhances consumer experience such as customer service, maintenance, repair, refund, and exchange. Sample po nito is yung pagpapa-repair or, or replacement ng no, end warranty ng mga defect products sa business or company po ng isang consumer. Now, next po is sa secondary activity naman po tayo. We have the first, ay, first is po yung procure, procurement. Procurement is the process of acquiring inputs or resources for a business. This is the process by which a business obtains raw materials, it entails locating and neg negotiating prices with suppliers and vendors. Ito po yung, ito po is directly related sa primary activity na inbound logistics. Dito po yung process po nung pagpo-purchase po nung inputs nung isang company sa isa pong supplier. Tapos, another secondary activity is the human resource management. Dito po, ito po ay, it is the hiring and retaining employees who will ex execute the business strategy and contribute to the products design, marketing, and sales. Yung pagmamanage daw po ng, ng workers' effectiveness po is very important po sa lahat po nyo, sa kanina po yung primary activities which is involved po kasi sila sa mga pagmamarketing, logistics, and pag-ooperate nung nung product po. Another secondary activity is the infrastructure. Infrastructure Infrastructure. Wait lang po, nagkakang... Sige lang po. Infrastructure, and then after that is the technological development. Apo. Sige lang. Uh, pwede mo naman i-discuss na while uh, di pa lang nalabas sa screen. Ne infrastructure. Another secondary activity po is infrastructure. Infrastructure covers a company support systems and the function that allow it to maintain operations. Dito po, dito po included yung mga accounting, legal, and administrative function po. And dito po sinusuportan din po nito yung mga primary activities. Tapos last, secondary activity naman po is the technological development used during research development and can include designing and developing manufacturing techniques and automating processes. This includes equipment, hardware, software, procedures, and technical knowledge. Ito yung mga technology po na needed to support the inputs turning into output po. Isa, isa po nito example is yung research, yun nga po yung research and development department sa mga company. Tapos, for a better understanding and to know how Port, Port, Porter's value chain look like po. Si Ibon po, yung mag-illustrate po sana ng example po ng value chain. Okay. So, dito muna tayo sa Porter's okay. value chain. Uh, ay, may illustration ba? You're going to Apo. present the illustration. Sige po, proceed na. Okay, Marco. Sige po. Sige po. Ayan, ka pa example ng port Porter's value chain. Ito po sabi, the McDonald's mission is to provide customer with low price food items. The analysis help McDonald's identify areas for improvement and activities that add value to their products and services. Okay. Sarah, yun po yung example. Yan po. Explain po po siya isa. Next po. Um, Yan po sa, 
Sa inbound logistic po, ang uh, ginawa po ng McDonald's, sabi dito, McDonald's has pre-selected low-cost suppliers for their raw materials for their food and beverage items. It sources suppliers for items like vegetable, meat, and coffee. Ito ay uh, nag... <laughs> Ah, since yung, yung mission po ng McDonald's ay makapag-provide ng low-price food items sa customer nila, ah, humano po sila ng low-cost suppliers din. Kasi kung sa sa mga suppliers po sila na matataas yung, yung mahal po, yung kukahanan nilang suppliers, ah, hindi, hindi po nila ma-provide, hindi po sila makaprovide ng mga low-cost price items. Po. Tapos sa operations po, um, dito po, ano po, uh, di pa po, uh, maraming, since marami na pong nagpa-franchise ng McDonald's. Ayun yun po pala yung ginagawa. Ito po, pinapranch, dito po sa operations, uh, ginagawa lang po eh, yung, yung pag-franchise po ng McDonald's sa iba't ibang location. Tapos, sa outbound logistic po, uh, instead of formal sit-down restaurant, McDonald's has restaurant that focus on cost counter service, self-service, and drive-thru service. Uh, Di ba po dati, ano, yung, dati po, ano lang po, yung parang inaantay lang po ng customer na dadating yung ano nila, yung order nila pero ngayon po ano meron na din po yung mga self service na restaurant hindi ko lang po sure kung meron po sa mga so, tapos yun may drive through din sila para po mas mas marami po sila ma-accommodate ma na customer tapos sa marketing and sales po Uh, its marketing strategies focus on media and print advertise and advertising including social media posts, magazine advertisement, billboards and more. Ah uh, dito po yung ginawa po nila sa marketing nila uh, mas nag-focus po sila sa social media kasi mas active naman po talaga yung tayo po yung mga tao po ngayon sa media, sa social media tapos sa uh, ano din po flyer din po yun din yun po yung ginawa nilang um, marketing strategy po para mas makilala po yung McDonald's. Tapos sa services po, McDonald's strives to achieve high quality customer service. It's, it provides 8,000 of employees with in-depth training and benefits so they can best assist their customers. Dito po yung mga employees po nila, sinuso uh, employees po nila, sinisigurado po nila na na well-trained yung well-trained well-trained para para po makapagbigay ng uh, best assist or best customer service. Next po. Sir, secondary po yan nagkamali. Tapos, dito po secondary activities, ito po yung procurement. Sabi dito, the firm uses Jogger, a digital procurement firm, to establish relationships with key suppliers across various regions of the world. Yung Jogger, yan po yung all-in-one platform na kung, nasa, kung saan po, meron po yung suppliers at saka buyers. Doon po sila na, ah, ano, nagko-connect, doon sila nag-uusap po, ganun. Marami po dyan. Um, platform po siya para po sa mga customer, ay sa suppliers at buyers po. Yun po yung ginamit, ginam, uh, parang ginamit nila para po mas magkaroon po sila ng good relationship with their suppliers. Tapos sa human research, re, resource management, it, it maintains a career page where job seekers can apply to both corporate and restaurant roles. It pays both early and salaried rates and promotes its tuition assistance program to, con 
attract talent. Uh, ito po yung career page po. Uh, pag pinindot po yan, yung ka-underline na yan, ano po yan. So, dito, yung, ilalagay nyo lang po yung location nyo. Tapos, uh, pindutin nyo po. Tapos, meron po lalabas doon lahat po ng details about McDonald's, kung ano po yung ginagawa, ganun po. Para po siyang, uh, uh, included po dito yung Chief Executive Officer or CEO, uh, Chief Financial Officer or CFO, Chief Operating Officer or COO, and Chief of Information Officer or CIO. Uh, yan, po yung, yan po yung mga nangangasiwa sa uh, firm operation na uh, Eh, at saka po sa legal matters. Tapos po sa technology development, uh, the restaurant has invested in touch kiosks to facilitate ordering and increase operational efficiency. Alam niyo po yung sa SM, yung parang kanari, gusto niyo pong malamang kung saan nakalocate yung saan po banda yung Jollibee, tapos saan po yung floor. Yun po, meron po silang gano'n. Meron pong ibang, yung ibang pong branch ng makdaata, meron pong gano'n. Ipindutin nyo lang po doon kung ano po yung order nyo. Gano'n. Yun po, gumawa po sila noon para mas ma-increase yung, yung ano nila. Yung, up, yung sales. Next. Okay, so before we uh, proceed to that, no? So let's break up first the uh, Porter's value chain. No? So uh, based on your discussion, there are two uh, primary, uh, there are two activities no, involved on uh, Porter's value chain. No? So the, the primary activities and then the secondary activities. No? So if we're going to relate, to relate it with your other subjects, no? So, uh, yung mismong primary activities. So, these are the value-adding activities. No? And then, the secondary activities are the business value-adding activities. Kung baga, andun siya, kailangan andun siya, or else you cannot proceed with your uh, primary activities. No? So, uh, um, ano nga yung ginagawa natin kapag uh, value-adding activities? So, we should enhance, no? our value-adding activities. And then on our business value-adding activities, we should uh, somehow reduce no, the uh, expenses for the business value-adding activities. No. So, balikan natin no, yung... Uh, teka lang, hindi ko mabalikan yung slide. Hindi na wala. So, on, uh, on Porter's value chain, so sabi nga, is, it was introduced by Michael Port Porter no, in 1985 through his book competitive advantage and then meron tayong formula na ginamit dito the profit margin is on the value created and captured less the cost of creating that value so uh, pinresyohan mong ganito ito yung pressure niya tapos minus mo yung paggagawa nun diba? ayun na yun so basic lang naman diba yun sa so profit margin and then there are two uh, elements na yun niya primary activities and secondary activities no? we're in uh, the primary activities, these are the value-adding activities necessary for the organization to come up or to produce that uh, service or to end that uh, particular product. And then secondary activities, so these are necessary business value-adding activities. No? So, kailangan nandun siya or else, uh, kumbaga, ito yung support mechanism no, of the primary activities para may deliver natin ng maayos efficiently these activities or these uh, steps or processes. And then uh, included on the primary activities are the inbound DGCs. Pero may confusion lang eh. No? Kasi it's on the on your primary activities, the inbound DGCs. But then, if we're going to look on the secondary activities, procurement, diba? So procurement is also part of the inbound logistics. So medyo may con konting conflict lang doon. But then, I was uh, looking for the explanation from the reporter kanina. Pero uh, ando naman siya, no? So, uh, Pagdating kasi sa inbound logistics, so these are warehousing, receiving, and inventory control of uh, raw material. No? So yung mismong pag-procure is iba pa siya. So how are you going to handle these, uh, these, uh, these raw materials? No? So it should matter on the primary activities. But then on how we're going to select for those materials are 
uh, the concern naman of the secondary activities. No? And then yung operations is na, na palagi nating uh, isang malaking factor. No? So ito yung paano natin gagawin, paano tayo magpaproduce ng ganitong output, ng ganitong product, are going to deliver particular service. No? So uh, out of this uh, raw material, so out of this talents na meron tayo. And then, para makagawa tayo ng isang finish pa. No? And then, outbound logistics naman. So, syempre, if you have all the uh, finished goods, no, finished products. No? So, ano yung mangyayari dun? So, sabi daw, this involves the uh, delivery. And then, at the same time, it's storage at yung distribution niya. No? So, pwedeng, um, pwedeng ang concern na nito is internal or external. And so on. And then, another part is the marketing and sales. No? Of the, it's part of the primary uh, activities, no? So, marketing and sales include strategies to increase visibility and attract the right customers. So, such as advertising, promotion, and pricing. And then services, this includes product maintenance and enhances cost consumer experiences such as customer service, maintenance, repair, fun, and exchange. So, minsan, di ba, pagka ganito, ito kasi is the after uh, sales responsibility of the organization. So, it should be uh, well, uh, it should be well delivered by the organization. Kaya nga meron tayong mga repair services o customer services. If ever may mga mag-fail uh, doon sa mga product or sa services na in-provide natin to customers, no, merong isang particular office or uh, department in the organization who will address that particular concern. And then if that, uh, if the, that particular services no, cannot handle it, no, so then it will be forwarded to the uh, other uh, department of the organization no, to address that particular concern. And then on um, secondary activities, kanina na bang it is in procurement. And then, of course, uh, it's really important that you have the human resources, the right, the perfect, or the fit and uh, human resource uh, uh, forces no, para dun sa pag-deliver na ating uh, services sa paggawa na ating product. No? What will happen no, if uh, mismatch yung nagawa nating uh, pag-select na isang uh, employee no, para dun sa isang position? So, Eh kasi kamag anak to niya, ano eh, yung pinili, di ba? So, it's actually, uh, it should be um, uh, prevented. No? So, kung ba, as much as possible is, wala sana ganun. But then, uh, reality uh, check, no? So, nangyayari, nangyayari talaga siya. No? So, ikaw ba, kamag anak ka, HR manager ka, nag-up tayong ganito mong pamangkin. So, of course, no? Mas matimbang pa rin yung ano. Pero kung objectively, ito yung ano, uh, pahinat na, no? uh, ito talaga yung results na evaluation. So, of course, uh, you should uh, stick to it. And so on. Pero kung uh, may sinabi na ni ganito, ni manager kaya ni president ng company, so what uh, power no? um, na may i-serve pa yung uh, human resource manager ko yung higher uh, than that position yung mismo nag impose na tanggapin yung ganito. So, isa yun. And then on the infrastructure, sabi dito is uh, support systems that, and the functions that allow it to maintain operations it includes all accounting, legal, and administrative functions. So not necessarily the physical infrastructure, but then the backbone para mas maging malinaw, especially on the on the uh, financial uh, area. No? So of course, no, dapat maayos yung mismo pag-audit natin ng mga uh, financial resources. So, and next is the technological development. So, technological development is used during research and development and can include designing and developing manufacturing techniques and automating processes. So, the depending equipment, so hardware, software, procedures, and uh, technical knowledge. No? So, kung mayaman yung company, of course, very abundant yung ganitong technological uh, development. or uh, no. So, yun. And then, you have mentioned the... Uh, an example of Porter's value chain, yung McDonald's. No? Yung sikat na sikat na McDonald's because of BTS. <laughs> Actually, ano, if I'm going to uh, choose between uh, Jollibee and McDonald's, so, syempre, McDonald's tayo. <laughs> Ayaw ko, wala. Kinakain ko lang sa Jollibee is chicken, mac- ah, chicken McDonald's. <laughs> Chin Jollibee. Ano yun? Ano nga yun? Chicken Joy. <laughs> chicken Joy. Yan. So, yun lang yung kinakain natin doon. Pero pag may binigay naman sa ito, makakain pa rin naman. But then, kung may pagpipilian ka, uh, McDonald's. So, yun. So, sapat na yung cheeseburger, okay na yun sa akin. 
And then base dito, sabi ni sino ay nag-graduate din nila noon si Kalimutan ko na. Balik ka. Si Ella ata. Si Ella nga. Ella nga tama ba? And then in Bandu District daw sa McDonald's is special like the local suppliers for the raw materials for their food and beverage items. So it sources suppliers for items like vegetables, meat and coffee. Wala ka masyadong background about uh, vegetables and meat no, being supplied to McDonald's. Pero alam ko yung coffee uh, is being supplied no, by one of the uh, uh, coffee producers na meron tayo dito sa bansa. Hindi siya gano'n ano, supporting the local coffee farmers actually yung McDonald's. No. So na-meet na namin in person that uh, guy no, who supplies coffee for McDonald's. No. It's actually for the whole chain no, in the Philippines. No. So they are supplying a uh, large portion of coffee to McDonald's. Yun, kaya medyo masarap din naman yung kape nila. So somehow, no, pero if you're really a coffee drinker, you can uh, differentiate ano yung masarap talaga at saka kape. <laughs> and the operations, no, so business is franchise and each McDonald's operation is owned by a franchise. He said there are more than 39,000 McDonald's operations worldwide. No? So parang Jollibee din. No? So there's a... Uh, Uh, and there's an owner no, for a particular franchise. Unlike with us, uh, San Agustin's, uh, San Agustin's um, KFC, no, isa lang nagmamayari ang uh, bali sa kanila. Uh, and then, may mga several franchises lang din sila in the uh, country. And then, on the uh, outbound logistics, instead of formal sit-down restaurants, McDonald's has restaurants that focus on counter service, out service, and drive-thru service. So, maganda to kasi uh, Uh, very pang masa. No? Hindi ka na kailangan i-deliver sa'yo yung pagkain. So, i-deliver lang sa'yo kapag ka hindi siya ma-provide on time. No? So, yun. But then, uh, hindi na rin eh kasi meron na mismong uh, waiting area and then doon kinukuha mismong ano, uh, orders natin. We just have to wait mga ilang minutes and then that's it. And ang marketing and sales, no? it's very powerful ang marketing na ating uh, McDonald's, di ba? Gamitin ba naman ng BTS, di ba? Halos yata kalahatin ng populasyon sa mundo eh. Uh, Army. <laughs> ano? So, pero hindi ko pa siya nakain, yung BTS meal na yun. <laughs> Mahal eh. <laughs> so, cheeseburger lang ako. No? Tsaka, makapi, okay. So, yun. As marketing strategies, focus on media and print advertising. So, including social media posts, magazine advertisement, billboards, and more. So, actually, may mga sinusuportahan din sila ng mga Uh, mga foundations, di ba? Kaya medyo uh, patok din naman sila. And on services, it strives to achieve high-quality customer service. It provides thousands of employees with in the training and benefits so that uh, they can best assist their customers. So marami na tayong mga graduate sa Clubhouse mga foundations, di ba? So para makakope up with the uh, expenses on the, on the, on the study. No? So, isa naman din siya sa mga sinusuportahan. So may mga parang pinapaaral sila, no? And then... In, in return, no, so they are going to uh, provide services no, for that particular uh, uh, store or elevation. Next. Uh, ano ba ba sa na? Procurement. No? Hindi ako familiar din sa Jagger. Uh, yung sa Jagger mismo, hindi ako masyadong familiar. So, a digital procurement firm to establish relationships with key supplies across margin is cool. So, it's an ERP, no, enterprise resource planning din, system na Uh, you're going to interconnect with other uh, suppliers. No? And then, uh, yun, madali na. Para ka lang nag-add to cart. No? Paso yun, uh, imagine the complexity. No? You're going to uh, uh, to consider the your whole franchises na 39,000 sabihin ka ninyo. So, gana ka rin yun. Hindi lang naman isang item yung sinusun. And then, alam ko, ay Pure Food San Miguel is supplying sauce for McDonald's spaghetti. Also, yung nuggets nila, mahal-mahal nga ng nuggets nila, but then if you're going to buy nuggets uh, sa mismong, uh, yung nuggets na nabibili sa ano, na may pure food label, hindi naman yun eh. <laughs> Di ba? Paraho lang sila actually. So, mas mahal lang talaga sa McDonald's. Kasi syempre, niluluto ko yun. So, yun. Alam ko yun. And even Chicken McDo. Oo. So, galing din siya sa sa Pure Foods San Miguel. So, sa kanila din yun. So, may mga mabibili kayo actually supplies. And then, if you have relatives no, working in San Miguel, meron sila actually sa cooperative nila. So, they are uh, selling this. And then, even sa market, uh, that is hindi pa available yung mismo sauces ng spaghetti. 
So that costs around mga 200, 300 yata, 300 pesos. So good for 2 kilograms na yung no, wala. Meron ka ng uh, chicken spaghetti. Uh, McDonald's uh, uh, spaghetti at chicken from McDo. Hindi ka nang pinapromote yung McDo. <laughs> Anyways, no. On the human resource management, again, it maintains a career page with, where job seekers can apply to both corporate and restaurant roles. It pays both RDN salary raise and promotes its vision assistance program to attract talent. So, ito yung sinasabi natin kanina. So, meron sila mga scholarship program para makapag uh, uh, provide the assistance to sa mga uh, working students. And a procurement, yun na nakalagay dito. Hulan. Firm infrastructure. Uh, in C-suite executives and zone presidents, no? So, nabanggit naman kanina yun. So, yung mga C-suite, so yung mga chief financial officer, chief executive officer, chief operating officer, lahat ng chief. So, yung mga C-suite executives and zone presidents. No? So, depende, no? Kung if it's on a regional, meron kayong zoning na tinatawag na on this particular region. For example, uh, Southeast Asia region, so meron nagmamonitor na isang president. So, syempre, uh, yun, So, nakadepende naman yun kung ano yun. Not really familiar with the uh, organization structure ng mismo McDonald's. But then, normally, nag, uh, pagka talaga masyadong marami na yun, multinationals na yun, yung concern. So, may mga ganun. And the technology development, so, nakapunta naman kayo sa McDonald's. So, alam nyo na kung ano meron. So, yung touch kiosk ng Jollibee, meron na rin. Pero na na yata ang uh, McDo. Yun. So, Kung ano yung mismo nasa app. So, alas ka din siya. Diba? And, yun. So, we can now proceed with the advantages, I guess. So, for the remaining 11 slides, or 10 slides, I guess. So, that will be recorded by, presented by Ibon na left. Advantages of value chain. Uh, a significant advantage. Basahin ko po muna lang. A significant advantage is that the value chain is a very flexible strategy tool for looking at your business, your competitors, and the respective places in the industry's value system. Value chain can be used to diagnose and create competitive advantages on both cost and differentiation. It assists you in comprehending the organizational issues associated with the promise of providing customer value commitments and promises by focusing attention on the activities necessary to deliver the value proposition. Value chain can give you a much better understanding on your business strengths and weaknesses. Value chain po kasi uh, nag-create po siya ng change within a business. Tapos dito po ma-monitor mo yung process. Tapos makikita mo din po yung, um, pwede din po ma-eliminate yung mga uh, activities na uh, that do not create uh, added value to the product or service. Tapos dito po sa pangalawa, yung competitive advantages po. Yung competitive advantages po, uh, ito po eh, yung pag nakakapag-produce po yung company ng goods or services na mas uh, mas cheap o uh, tapos nakakapag-generate po siya ng more sales kaysa sa kaysa po sa sa rival na gano'n. Um, Yung dito po sa pangatlo, po sa pangatlo ay yung value chain po ay ay Sige po, uh, please proceed. 
Basta yun po, ano po, yung value chain po, ayun, nag-create po siya ng chain, ng change, nag, ah, uh, pag meron pong value chain, nai-eliminate po yung mga activities na hindi naman po nag-add ng value sa product or service. Tapos, dito din po, eh, makikita din po ng, 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 sa business, yung strength and weaknesses niya po. Sa, <laughs> Next po. <laughs> Dito po sa disadvantage of value chain, sabi, it cannot, it cannot be easily adapted to some business situation. Pangalawa po, it takes a lot of work to finish a uh, full value chain analysis for your company and for your main competitors. That's why you must identify and understand first the key differences and strategy drivers. Hmm. Pangatlo, the value chain idea has been adopted by supply chain and operation experts and therefore its strategy impact for understanding, analyzing, and creating competitive advantage has been reduced. Hmm. Sabi po dito, hindi naman po yung, hindi po lahat ng business na ada po agad yung value chain. Um, it, value chain. Dito po kasi, ano, kasama po dito yung, yung sa, sa research, sa design, sa marketing, strategy. Yun po. Kaya hindi po lahat na ka din po noon. Tapos, dito po sa pangalawa, um, po. kailangan po may deep understanding ka sa, deep understanding ka muna po sa key differences ng, key differences ng, Ano, kailangan ko ano, makapag... Um, Uh, maka, makagawa po pa ay, ay ayun makamalo at tapos yung sa pangatlo po ayun since yung supply chain at saka po yung operation expert ay Uh, na-adapt na po nila yung idea ng value chain. Uh, Na-reduce po yung competitive advantage po, which is yung, ano po, yung uh, marketing sales po. Ano. Yan lang po. Okay, sige lang, proceed. Later, we'll uh, provide additional inputs. Hello. So, the last part of this chapter is about the supply chain management drivers. So, before... Yeah. No. So, before we... Before we proceed dun sa limang drivers, alamin muna natin kung ano muna yung ibig sabihin ng mga terms na to. So first, ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin ng word na drivers? So drivers are something that causes an operation to happen or develop. 
drivers. So, kumbaga, sa madaling salita, parang pagda-drive lang yan ng sasakyan or yung kung anong mang trans po. So, the driver controls the way kung saan ba pupunta, saan dili ko, or kung saan man. So, yung drivers naman na i-discuss ko is yung drivers that will help control the supply chain para mag-perform ito ng mabuti. So, next, yung efficient. Aside from the word drivers, state ko din muna yung pagkakaiba ng efficient and responsive. Since sasabihin ko siya sa bawat drivers mamaya. So, efficient supply chain can deli ay, means that they can deliver products at a low cost. So, their goal is to provide good availability without charging yung sobrang mahal na mga price. Then, yung responsive naman, responsive supply chains can deliver or can quickly respond to the changing needs of the customers. So, sometimes... Yung, para makaproduce ng products ng mabilis na mabilis gumagamit sila ng technology or bumibilis sila pa kasi yung responsive parang innovative type sila so yun lang yung pagkakaiba yun yung pagka then next So, ito na yung mga supply chain management drivers, the production, inventory, location, transportation, and information. So, this is the illustration for the major supply chain management drivers. So, I base this on the e-sources na in-introduce this sir sa atin ng orientation. Yung title ng book ay Essentials of Supply Chain Management, 3rd edition ni Michael H. Hugos. So kung magsisearch kayo sa internet, meron kasing mga iba pang drivers na kasama dyan. So ngayon, lima lang yung ililiscuss ko. So the first one is the production. Production or yung facilities refers to the actual physical location of the supply chain network where we can store products, assemble them, fabricate, or manufacture them. So the two major types of facilities are either manufacturing or storage type ng facility. So sa production, you need to identify what, how, and when to produce. So, what products does the market want? Yun yung mga maaaring mong maitanong. Or what to produce? How much of which product should be produced and by when? So, ibig sabihin, you need to identify how to produce the goods and services. Kung ilan lang ba kasi hindi naman basta-basta diba gumagawa ng mga products sa production. Lahat yan may bilang. Pati yung gamit ng materials. By when naman means kailan tayo mag-produce ng ganitong kadaming output or ganito lang kaunti. So, example nito yung sa Christmas lights, di ba? So, ako personally nag-work po sa isang Christmas lights company. Tapos napunta po sa QC line. So, yung company na yun, tanggap lang po ng tanggap sila ng mga trabahador kasi vacation po yun, di pa Bermans. So, yung pinagandaan nila yung demand para dun sa Christmas lights. Para pagdating ng Bermans, magtitinda na lang sila. Deliver, deliver na lang. And then, ay. So, masasabi ang production ay efficient. So, centralizing production in large central plants to get better economies of scale. So, few central plants lang sila, pero large. Malaki. Then, narrow focus sila. Then, build factories with very little excess capacity, optimizing for producing a limited range of items. Masasabi namang responsive, excess capacity naman sila. Then, flexible yung manufacturing nila. Meaning, kaya nilang paramihin yung quantity ng product tapos nagagawa nila yun. Then, next is the inventory. Includes raw materials, work in process, and finished goods within a supply chain. 
So yung mga raw materials, yung mga whip items or work in process or progress items or yung madaling sabi yung mga unfinished pa na mga goods as well as yung finished goods. So dito po, binibilang kung ilan yung natapos sa isang araw, ilang pieces na lang ng gantong material yung natira and kung ano pa po. Um, Meron may meron nang merong mga company na bumibili sila ng raw materials sa supplier tapos ini-stock nila sa warehouses. Tapos meron naman pong mga nag nagjo-just in time model para ma-avoid yung wastes. So you need to know how much to make and how much to store. Kasi nga yun nga kasabi ko lang kanina hindi hindi lang basta-basta gumagawa may bilang yun ng dami para maiwasan yung pagkalugi. or yung waste. So, mas sabi siyang efficient, low inventory levels, fewer items, then responsive, wide range of items naman, tapos, yung ini-stock yung products at many locations. Next is the location. So, yung lugar. Determining You need to determine where should the facilities for production and inventory be located. Saan ba mas magiging cost efficient? You need to consider the location kung saan ka magbamarket ng product mo para makabenta. So masasabi, efficient supply chain kapag operating from only a few locations and centralizing activity in common locations. Responsive naman pag... Many locations tapos close naman sa customers. The fourth one is the transportation. So you need a combination of routes and moves to move inventory from point to point in the supply chain. So you need to know kung anong mas magandang gamitin transportation para ma-deliver yung mga finished goods para makapag makatipid ka or pwede naman yung supplies, yung delivery ng mga supplies. So, transportation, maaaring by land, by sea, or by air. So, you need to know the routes, the time it should take, when it should come back. Dapat, dapat fast, safe, and reliable kasi napakalaking cost kapag nag-acquire ito kung sakaling magkaroon, mag manyari man yung mga aksidente. Madedelay, madaming maaapektuhan. Tapos mawala na din yung trust ng customer sa atin. So efficient, transporting products in larger batches. So, so in larger batches siya, pero doing it less often. Tapos slow and cheaper modes. Gumagamit lang ng ship, rail, tsaka mga pipelines. Kung sa responsive naman, ang way nila is transportation mode is fast and flexible. Tapos frequent yung shipments dito compared dun sa efficient. So the fifth and the last driver is the information. So bakit? So yung information ay nakalagay sa gitna ng figure, di ba? Tapos nakakonect siya dun sa apat na drivers. So bakit nga ba? So the information is central to all these drivers because sa apat na yon bago magwork they need information, di ba? Halaman ng information sa production, sa inventory, sa location, pati na rin sa transpo. Lahat ng data or info na nakukuha sa bawat drivers ay magagamit upang ma-examine or analyze natin yung paraan para ma-enhance. para maging efficient and responsive yung supply chain. So, napaka-importante ng information. In short, through the information, nakakagawa tayo ng basis para makagawa ng decisions, creates a lot of cost savings so that we can improve the performance. So, so masasabing efficient supply chain Less information about fewer activities can be collected. On the other hand, being responsive naman, companies collect and share accurate and timely data, data generated by the operations of the other four drivers. 
So, di ba, responsive. Parang gumagamit sila ng... Nagsiserve sila sa electronic markets para ma-collect and share data about yung customer demand, production schedules, and inventory levels. So, that's all for the major supply chain management drivers. So, conclude lang natin. Supply chain management is the coordination of all the drivers, the production, inventory, location, transportation, with basis ng information among the participants in a supply chain to achieve the best mix of responsiveness and efficiency for the market being served. So, yun. Best mix nga daw siya ng responsiveness and efficiency para maging effective. So, nasabing best mix dahil depende yan sa demands kasi ng customer sa company. Pwede yung production ng isang company ay efficient type dun sa inventory. Pwede responsive naman dun sa information. Sa transpo, efficient. Ganun. Dumidepende po sila kasi hindi naman laging responsive lang tuloy-tuloy. Ganun. Tapos... Supported. Ay. Supportahan po natin ang sinabi ni Eliyahu Gold, Goldratt sa kanyang book na The Goal. Ang sabi niya, the right combination of responsiveness and efficiency in each of the drivers allows a supply chain to increase throughput while, throughput while simultaneously reducing inventory and operating expense. So that's all for the first chapter. Thank you. Okay, so thank you, Den. So we're going to uh, go back to the presentation of uh, of um, Ibon, no? so advantages and disadvantages of value chain. So first advantage is that significant advantages the value chain is very flexible strategy to tool for looking at your business so your competitors and respective places in the industry's value system no because if you're going to because you you are actually uh, scanning the whole uh the whole parts of your uh, organization of your uh, mismo system of the food uh, of your value chain system no? so hindi lang yung mismo company mo but then you are going to consider you are considering the uh, external factors no so of your uh uh, of of this uh, of your company like uh, your supplier no so your customer as well no so what's the feedback against uh, uh, your operations and so on no? and then sabi that it can be used to diagnose and create competitive advantage in both cost and differentiation because if optimize natin talaga yung mismong company natin streamlined already so wala na masyado tayong makita ang process why not go out of your uh, company and then look for some improvements na baka mas makita natin. Isa kasi, uh, ganun eh. So we are just confined on the spaces na meron tayo sa ating organization. And then, uh, especially kung medyo matagal na yung company, so baka wala na problema sa ating organization. But necessary, not necessarily na, na ganun yung thinking natin, pero uh, meron at meron tayong magiging uh, improvement pa rin na makukuha, na may po-provide. No? Pero, uh, why not look on the uh, external for factors no, of your company? And in addition to comprehending the organizational issues associated with the promise of providing customer value commitments and promises by focusing on the attention on the focusing attention on the activities necessary to deliver the value proposition. So, so palagi naman tinitina natin is on the value creation. No? So, is it really uh, giving us value? No, uh, pagkabaginawa natin yung ganitong uh, uh, procedure, so what could be the possible effect and so on. So not not just uh, being satisfied kung ano meron tayo. So, so tingnan natin kung ano ba ba yung pwede natin magawa para ma-improve natin yan. So normally, uh, pagka mga bago pa, uh, bago pang mga empleyado na isang organization, so di ba, andyan yung medyo idealistic tayo. So aminin man natin na they are being idealistic na ganito dapat yung mangyari, no? ganito dapat. And so, ano, kasi kaso nga lang, there's a culture and the organization na um, hindi eh, okay na yan kasi gumagana naman. Kumbaga, meron naman tayong output na nakakapag-provide naman tayo ng sales. Maganda naman yung feedback ng customers. So, uh, okay na yan, hindi natin kailangan. So, the problem there is the culture naman. Diba? So, paano mo siya magbabago? How are you going to uh, 
to let these uh, people na nandun na sa mismo company, kung the pillars na ng company to understand the situation, what if, no, ganito yung gawin natin, what if ganito yung ganito, what could be the possible effect of this uh, intervention sa ating organization. So, mga ganun. But then, we cannot force uh, things, no, na ganun-ganun lang. So, kailangan natin i-assess na yung kung anong situation na meron tayo sa organization. Kasi, uh, again, culture is one of the factors that you have to consider. So, when you are, when you are implementing a particular change, no, or intervention, value chain can give you a much better understanding on your business strengths and weaknesses. Kasi, di ba, uh, when you do your SWOT analysis, di ba, strength and weakness, no, so that's your, uh, that could be internal, no, but then looking at the opportunities and interests, no, so that's the external factors that you can uh, uh, get, no, while, while doing that particular analysis. No? So, pero yun niya, so it can provide you, kasi you have the full picture, eh. so ano ba yung weaknesses natin kapag, uh, na wala itong supplier na ito. So, ano yung mga possible uh, uh, drawbacks ng ating company kapag na wala siya. And so, and then on the uh, disadvantages, it can be easily adapted to some business situation. Of course, iba-iba tayo ng sitwasyon. So, pwedeng applicable yung ganitong uh, case no to, to some, but then, uh, hindi in, hindi nangangahulugan na uh, magiging ganun din tsaka effective once we implemented that particular system. So, mga ganun. No? So, uh, again, no? so, tingnan natin if it really uh, matches or fit that to our organization. Meron ulit na walang isa. <laughs> Unti-unti na kinawawala. 33 tawa din. And it takes a lot of work to finish a full value chain analysis. Totoo yan kasi napakaraming factors. Akala lang natin, uh, titingnan natin siya is ganun lang siya. Uh, kadali. <laughs> Kasi ala natin isang picture lang siya, no? Kumbaga, kasi if you're going to map it out, no? so may mga concerns tayo, eh. hindi lang naman kinakailangan na yan. Yung lead time, yung concern natin. So may mga ilang pang factors na kanakonsider. And then uh, the value chain ID has been adapted by supply chain and as uh, operations experts and therefore it's uh, strategic impact for understanding, analyzing, and creating competitive advantages has been reduced. No? So, yun. And then going to the drivers, no, supply chain management drivers, actually very basic naman yung, yung, yung limang yun. No? So uh, parang gas gas na is to cliche you know, for IEs no, to uh, have this discussion. Pero kailangan din natin ipaunawa at going to uh, refresh our minds na ano, ano ba itong mga supply chain management drivers. Ito. Sabi nga kanina ni Denzel, so mas marami daw itong drivers. Ito. But then, uh, she emphasized only five uh, drivers no, na talagang very uh, really needed no, para mas maintindihan natin kung ano ba yung supply chain management. So, the production, of course, is one of the major components no, of the supply chain management. And then your stocks, no, that is your inventory. And then, saan ba natin siya ilalocate? Uh, we're going to uh, put those inventories. No? So, where best to do what activity? No? And then, are we going to deploy or distribute this uh, uh, inventories no, sa uh, ating mismo uh, clients and consumers. And then, babalik ulit siya sa production. So, and then, uh, on the information, information is very essential on all, on all, uh, on these drivers kasi uh, very important siya kasi hindi natin siya pwedeng uh, maliwalaan kasi uh, we cannot provide the actual inventory kung hindi siya magpo-provide ng production ng actual output nila. No? And then, uh, if you can see, there is a communication, so uh, two-way, two-way, uh, two-way communication between production, and inventory, and then encompassing information on both on all drivers. No? So, and even on the inventory to location, location to transportation, and even transportation to production. Because uh, once we have delivered that uh, item, no? ibig sabihin, so nabawasan na yung ating goods no? on the uh, production level. So yung finished goods na yun, it's not delivered na natin sa ating customers. So, inisa-isa lang na yun naman siya. And, nag-iwan siya ng isang kataga from Eliyahu Eliyahu Goldrat. Hindi ko siya kilala. <laughs> so, the right combination of responsiveness and efficiency in each of the drivers allows the supply chain to increase throughput while simultaneously reducing inventory and operating expense. So, sa Tagalog, ano daw sinasabi? Denzel? Hello. 
<laughs> Golden Cell. Ano daw sabi niya sa Tagalog? Sa in layman's term. I'm going to laymanize that quote. Um, yun po, di ba? Yung best mix ay yung right combination ng responsiveness and efficiency na sinabi ko kanina. Di, ah. di, depende po sa company. So, di ba po, may iba't ibang uri yun sa bawat drivers. So, yung combination nun, ay, wait lang. <laughs> Sige lang. Ah, sige, mag-move on na tayo. <laughs> Nasusunod kasi huwag na maglalagay ng mga ganyan. No? <laughs> so, pwedeng naman thank you for listening na lang. Thank you. Next slide mo. Next slide mo. O, di ba, hindi ka na nahirapan sa ano. <laughs> Pwede naman thank you for listening na lang. Na-explain mo na yung purpose mo. Eh. Yung driver sa man yun. Eh, o, sino ba naglagay ng slide na yun? Ako po. O, oh, ayan. <laughs> so, anyways, no, thank you for your uh, presentation. No? So, baka may tanong pa yung ating uh, klase. So, just to clarify things, anyone would like to ask questions. No? So, ganito pa yung magiging uh, flow of discussion natin. So, every time, magpapresent. No? So, for the next uh, presenter, so I am for the next group. no So, that's the group of uh, Janine, uh, Eva, Joyce and Janine ulit. Hindi ko alam kung kasama si Johnny. Panlima ko pang apat. I don't know. Not really sure. Pero sila yung, they will be the next presenter. No? So, for the topic. No? So, yeah, So, that will be the 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 flow of uh, discussions and exchange of information. Para may interaction din tayo. Kasi napaka-boring na talaga nang may kinig ka lang ng isang ano, PowerPoint presentation. No? And wala tayong interaction. So, yun lang. So, as much as I want na makita ko kayo personally, eh, hindi naman pwedeng gano'n yung magiging ano. Kasi ay, bawal mo. So, anyways, no, gano'n po ay magiging close. So, thank you very much for uh, to Monica, to Ella, to Ibon, and Denzel no, for delivering this uh, uh, good uh, presentation. No? So, yun lang. So, but then, uh, mas maganda na no, so for, for the next uh, presenters, no? Uh, is uh, actually uh, an advantage na no, present nyo yung uh, what uh, what have you write no on the uh, on the written report no so uh, ano ba yung objectives ng ating topic no so ano ba yung mga yun? mas maganda on the on the preliminary uh, slides no nakalagay yun doon so what do we expect on this presentation and so on no? and then uh, you can actually make it more uh, livelier kasi Uh, doon sa mismo ating time slot kasi sobrang baba na energy talaga yun. So, kasi yung mismo uh, 2 o'clock no, is the peak na talaga sobrang baba na energy ng mga tao. So, yun. So, I don't know kung may mga nakatulog na dyan o gising na. <laughs> But then, yun po yung magiging, ano, magiging uh, flow of discussion natin. And then, right at the end, no, so, palagi po ako magpapakwis. No? <laughs> All right, so dahil just speaking of quiz, no, I want you to check your chat box. No, I'm going to 